Hey, what's up guys? I don't know why I started the video with me watching the F1 car. Um, that was a few days ago. It's kind of pointless now because finally got rain for like the first time. Which isn't that big of a deal, but whatever. All our hard work of watching it. And another thing is, I found uh, this little bastard. This little thick boy. Yoshi! This little thick boy snooping around in the F1 car at night. Here's a quick time lapse of that. I don't know why, but like literally every night he just like, it's like he smells something in the driver's seat or something in there and he keeps climbing on the side of it and like just, he almost falls in every single time and it's it's hilarious. Uh, for those of you that are gonna be like, oh, he's scratching the paint. I, I don't really care. The paint on this is not that good. It has a ton of chips and it's peeling on the corner, so I don't really care that much. He's my dog, I value him more than this car, of course. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm, uh, I'm doing some maintenance on the F350 right now. Um, the trip to San Diego and back to get this thing, this thing ran absolutely flawlessly. I mean, I would say it was pretty, pretty great in all honesty. Uh, the drive was like something like 12 or 13 hours round trip. And like, this truck is so overkill and that's kind of why I got it. It's so overkill that when the trailer was loaded, the back suspension didn't even sag at all. And uh, well, anyways, I'm doing maintenance on it because I'm just doing an oil change. The trans fluid looks good. Probably change the differential fluid. But uh, I'm setting off on a 5,000 mile round trip uh, around America, essentially. Um, I've been telling you guys I got this truck for that reason for the most part, is basically because I'm getting a project car, and a half, sorta. Um, and that's gonna be like the main build for this channel, as I already said. I'm uh, really excited for this for this project specifically because I've been wanting to do it and I've been trying to get this specific one for so many times already, but I think it's cool. But it's kind of annoying because I feel like there's been like four or five YouTubers that got this car in the past like two to three months, so I'm just like ripe. Um, but anyways, ours is gonna be very different because this thing is literally a shell that rolls. Uh, it's not complete at all. But uh, anyways, I'm not gonna go too detailed into that, but essentially we're going to, with this, from here in Arizona to Florida, which is like 30 something hours, to Alabama, which is like eight hours from Florida, to Chicago, which is 14 hours north of Alabama, then to Wisconsin for some parts, and then back home. And it's gonna be somewhere around like 5,000 miles-ish, maybe a bit more. And uh, that entire time I'm doing this completely by myself. I wish any of my friends could go, but this is gonna be like a four to six day thing. And of course, you know, they have regular Monday through Friday jobs. I only work kind of whenever I feel like it, like a few times a week, and I'm requesting that week off. And uh, yeah, literally just going by myself. I'm hoping I can take Kai along. He's my black Sheba, not him, Kai, because he's an amazing dog for cars. And uh, I am gonna be sleeping here. This is gonna be my my house for the next week, starting this, starting next week. Um, I still have not done any kind of setup here, but uh, I was gonna try to somehow do something with a. Uh, I know they sell like inflatable mattresses for cars that go back there, but the thing is, this is. A, a lot bigger than a normal car. It's a lot wider and I think it might be good for me. I don't really know how wide this is. I have not tried sleeping here at all yet or even laying down across this bench seat. It's definitely too small because I'm six foot four. If I was like under six foot this would actually be pretty nice. So pretty, yeah pretty nice. But essentially I was trying to extend the bed here so it could be like a you know I could be sideways or something like that. Uh, and this truck does have tents and everything, so it is in America legal to sleep at rest areas and stuff like that. Just pull over and sleep, uh, which is going to be nice. I'm going to be renting a 24-foot enclosed trailer. Um, that's about like a car and a half. It could fit like a car and a half. And it's an enclosed because I just don't want to get any attention for the stuff I'm hauling. Because if somebody knows what it is, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, oh, that's, you know, what that is. Um, and I don't want any attention, especially at rest areas, you know, I just don't want people to know what's in the trailer at all. Um, and I'm renting a full enclosed trailer for only $500 for the full week, which is a really good price because these trailers are like worth like $25,000. And I think that's amazing for a limited mileage. It's like, it's like $10 more a day than a U-Haul trailer. And a U-Haul trailer is like literally like the worst kind of trailer to haul. It's not that bad. I mean, my feet stick out a little bit. Um, I mean, I'll definitely have to have my legs curled or something, but... I don't know. <laughs> I better get used to this. Uh, there's more than enough room for everything else. I'm trying to work out like some kind of diet plan too, because I really don't want to be eating junk food and fast food and gas station food. Though I love that stuff, it's just a little bit too much when you're just buying it. 
like straight up from gas stations because it, it will add up. You're like, oh yeah, it's fast food, it's cheap. No, it will add up if that's all you're eating for five, six days. And I don't want to feel like shit. I really just want to drink water and coffee, coffee to mainly stay awake, and then just like eat like energy foods. Not so much protein and fat foods because I won't be doing much. I'll just be sitting, but I just want to have energy, like healthy energy. So um, I don't know if I'm going to go out and like buy a bunch of energy bars, cliff bars, like those Belvita breakfast bars. Um, probably eat salads. That's probably the only thing I'm going to buy is just salads and uh, fruit bowls and just fruit. I don't know, really, but I do want to like stay healthy and kind of like be budget food wise. I would love to pull over at every place that's on my way and like visit famous areas. But this is going to be more of a time thing, uh, mainly because the trailer I'm renting is from this Saturday, January 26th to February 1st, Saturday. So I have exactly seven days and I'm not sure when I'm going to get the trailer on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to get it like first thing in the morning and just take off immediately. So I have all of Saturday I'm driving because that's mainly going to be all of Saturday is just essentially going to be New Mexico and then half into Texas. And then probably towards the night of Saturday, I'm probably going to pull over and I haven't even really done the scheduling on this. I don't know if I'm going to be sleeping for like 10 hours. I, I mean, realistically, you only need six hours of sleep honestly speaking, but I'll probably be like taking melatonin and sleep pills to just help me fall asleep since, I mean, it's going to be a little bit annoying to fall asleep here, but I don't know what to do about heat too. Cause especially when I'm in like Chicago, Wisconsin, the North States, it's literally like zero degrees out there. Like it's below freezing easily. It's cold as shit. And I don't know if I'm going to leave this truck idling with the heat on or I have no idea. Cause a friend told me just max out the heat where it's like burning hot step out of the truck let it heat up for 20 minutes go back in and like run the heat for another few minutes and then shut it off and the heat that it's so insanely hot and your body heat should be enough to keep it hot overnight um i mean i don't know i'm gonna have a lot of blankets probably but yeah i mean this is crazy um i'm kind of I'm, I'm honestly it, it makes me happy that this is like the life i live so to say because this is a lot more fun than you know working monday through friday but uh it's really fun, but I'll update you on exactly what's going on with the F1 car in the next video uh, with this new project. Might unveil it in the next video, I don't know. But yeah, a lot of stuff coming. If any of you guys have any advice for me diet-wise, um, just any tips road-wise, because I am going to be on the road for five to seven days by myself. Uh, all I really do while driving is like watch videos on my phone, like on the dashboard, like YouTube, like Top Gear videos, Top Gear episodes, like just anything long. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just really excited. Uh, I mean, I'm excited, but it's like kind of like those uh, annoying things. Like, you know, obviously no one really wants to be by themselves for five days straight. Like it kind of sucks, but I really like this thing. It, it's so nice to be back on a sports bike. Like I really like the dirt bike KLR, but back on a sports bike, like this is where I learned how to ride. This is where everything I knew skill wise was held. It just feels so natural. And I rode this thing to work yesterday because I'm probably gonna ride this thing to work when it's not raining out just cause it uses so much less gas. You know, I mean, this thing gets good gas mileage, but still like this gets 40 MPG, you're not gonna beat that. But it's just really awesome, you know, just to ride again. This thing's running well. I already ordered a bunch of seats, uh, or a bunch of things. Uh, I ordered a new rear seat, so it's not this green leather. New front seat, so it's not the green leather. I ordered uh, harsher compound brake pads all around. Uh, I'm gonna get new tires once I'm back from my trip, and then I'll probably just get a new chain. And then it's it's pretty good. I might just get the valves adjusted or something like that, just because it has 34, 35,000 miles on it, which is pretty high for a sports bike. So I don't know if that, it, that's ever been done or not, but might as well. Let's get the old girl fired up. Yee, brother! Hell yeah, brother! I don't think I'm ever gonna get to use the rear bag helpers for this because the whole point of this is like it doesn't lower or raise it, but when you put a trailer and let's say it sags it all the way down here, you can use the bags to lift it up to like normal level, but. I don't think I'm ever going to tow anything that heavy. <laughs> Maybe I could weld up like a kitchen back here to cook on, on the road. <laughs> Just want to announce the whole, you know, going on a trip, which is really cool and fun. I can't wait to take you guys with me on it. Probably do one more video on the F-350, just doing that whole back setup bed thing. And then after that, that'll be the video that uh we get going. Yep. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.